Okay, so TikTok live streaming without a thousand followers can be done. I saw this video of the instruction set of how to get this done, and there was some uh, unanswered questions in the comment section about how do I do this or how do I do that, and I was like, you know what, I've used this program before uh, that they use to create this generator for stream keys, so I figured why not uh, put out a little bit of an FAQ on how to do this uh, it, it, to supplement the video that I already watched. All that stuff will be linked in the description below, but yeah, so let's get into streaming, live streaming on TikTok without 1,000 followers. So the first thing you need to do is apply with TikTok or ask them or request from them the uh, ability to use their live service. And to do that, you'll go to this landing page. And again, links in the description. Okay, from here, you'll log in with your TikTok page. And then once you log in, it will ask you if you use any other kind of streaming service like Twitch and what your concurrent viewers are, you will have to probably add, look, add a picture or a screenshot or two to show that you have, you know, a concurrent viewer account or some sort of following. Uh, I did this and my TikTok is only like, I think 19 followers at the moment. You can click on that in the uh, comment section and go check that out. From there, we'll, we'll go ahead and log in. So click log in to apply and you'll log in with uh, your TikTok or however you wanna log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Google. As you can see, I'm already logged in and have been approved. So the go through the process and I'll, I'll show you what this looks like if you don't have access or or you don't. And I'll go ahead and log in with a, with a, with a secondary account that has like nothing, just a test account to show you what this, what's the process you have to go through. So I'll go ahead and switch account. We're gonna log in again to apply, again with Google, right? For me, anyway. Now here I'm logged in with my with 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 a test account. We're gonna go and click apply. Once you go through that, you'll have to enter your 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 channel name on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, Meta, Instagram, or other. What's your average con concurrent viewer count for mine? I, I did 10 plus, but you can do 10 minus. Provide screenshots that confirm that you're account holder. It's just verifying that it is your account, and then an email address, and then click s submit. It says it it will take 24 hours for them to get back to you, but once they do you'll get back to that other landing page that we were just on. After you get your approval or whatnot, it will give you this. Um, it, the approval will be a 14 day access and you have to meet a requirements within those 14 days. I believe it's like 25 minutes of stream time over two days and then you'll get a uh, 180 day or a six month, uh, six month pass. And obviously you have to stay within the community guidelines. This will give you access to live studio. It says, it sh it'll probably say at the top live on PC or console, not approved or revoked, but you don't need to apply for those because you already got live studio. And then read the bottom on mine. It says congrats, uh, your access to live with live studio and on PC or console has been approved. It's been approved and only 19 followers on TikTok. From here, we need to get the stream key so where we don't have to use Twitch Studios and we can use OBS if we want or Streamlab. From here, we'll have to go get, go over to GitHub and we'll, we'll get this piece of software that allows us to do this. It says uh, the features of this, it's gonna generate TikTok live stream key using Streamlabs API. So you will need to download Streamlabs once you get approved and you have Streamlabs downloaded, you're gonna click on this and it will take you over to this access for Streamlabs. If you've already been approved and you click on this, it will automatically approve Streamlabs. So we'll go back. And now we need to download the software. Download latest release from here. Obviously right now we're on Windows, so we're gonna download the Windows. I've already got this downloaded, but you would not use the debug one unless you wanna see what the program is doing. Uh, you can you can do that obviously if you want, but it's just going to show you what the, the program is doing because it's using Selenium to uh, to do all of this. It's it's web it's scraping the API and and, and it's grabbing that stream key. So for us, if we just want to do this, we're going to download the one from Windows. I've already got this downloaded, so we'll go to Downloads and we're going to click on the folder or we're going to click on the uh, the folder here. Inside the folder, it's got Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator right here. Double click on it. Now, your Windows Defender may pick this up as a Trojan or uh, say it's not protected. It is just Selenium. I could go over line by line on the code 
uh, of this and show you that it is just Selenium. I built applications using Selenium before. It is, um, it takes a version of a web browser and uses it as, 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 it's used for testing websites is what it's used for. That's why, that's how they get the stream key. Run anyway, it's not a virus, and then it will bring up this. From here, once we get this loaded, you need to get this token. When you click on load token, it will ask you to log into TikTok, log into TikTok, and it will load your token right here. Obviously, it's no API token found locally. A web page will now open to allow you to log into your TikTok account. We're gonna click OK. And from here, you wanna log into your TikTok account, preferably using your email and password. Okay, so once you log into TikTok, it should show you right here that you have a token. Save config, and then from here, you can go You can go live. You can do your stream title right here, the game you're playing. And then uh, once you, you have to do this part, once you do <laughs> click go live, you'll have to do your stream URL and your stream key inside of OBS or uh, Streamlabs. You can also open the live monitor if you want. But inside of OBS, you would go into here, and go into stream, custom, and then where your server is at is where you would put the stream URL and then the stream key for stream key. And then click apply and okay. And then you can stream. You can also do this with the ATOM, the ATOM uh, vertical, vertical one if you want. Same way, settings, streaming, and then your stream key and your server, okay? Now, if you do get, if you do get an error for this or if you have Windows, uh, is showing that there is an issue with this. You can go into Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, Virus and Threat Pre Protection Settings, Manage Settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then Add or Remove Exclusions. And then you can add that file into an exclusion. You would just click Add Exclusion, File, Folder, File Type or Process, and then you can add that to your exclusions list. That way, it doesn't do anything uh, stupid to you anymore. You, you might want to add it to this anyway, uh, just in case, but that's how you would get around the exclusion or, or Windows picking it up. Same thing with Mac. Mac is going to pick it up as, uh, as a corrupt file because it's unsigned by Apple and uh, it, it's using Selenium. So we're going to open up Mac uh, on my MacBook and we're going to show you how to do this on Mac to, uh, to get around some of uh, Apple's security processes uh, for, for applications that are unsigned. So let me uh, plug this in and get this up and going. MacBook, just so we're, we're clear on that. Okay, so same tool as what we are Windows, only when we, we download it, obviously we're gonna have to go with Mac. Uh, you need to determine which Mac you have. Uh, you, do you have one with a Mac silicone on it, which is the M1 chip, uh, or if you've got one with the Intel based, which is x86 or 64. Mine is uh, uh, the, the Mac chip, so for that one, you'll have to do the ARM one. Click it, it'll download. I've, I've already got this downloaded. But if we go into downloads and we try to open this, it's gonna give you an error, right? Safari can't open the, the Streamlabs TikTok Stream Key Generator uh, because no available application can open it. That's that's not the case. We'll click OK, and then it'll say that it's incomplete or damaged. That and then it will put the quarantine app attribute to the file, and then we'll hop into our hard drive. Once we're in the hard drive, we'll go to Downloads, and then if we sh say Show Package Contents, it'll open it up, right? And this is the folder we want. We want to drag this folder, either drag it to your desktop or copy it and then paste it on your desktop or somewhere else other than inside the, uh, the, the compressed file that it's inside of. So we'll go to desktop. So for this, for this purposes, we're going to go ahead and copy it. We'll go to desktop. And then paste the item. Go into contents. And we want to go to Mac OS. And then you'll see the application. Double click on it, it's gonna give you the same error, right? Telling you to move it to the trash. We don't wanna move it to the trash, we wanna be able to use it, right? So to get past this and to get it to work, we need to open up a terminal really quick. And once we got a terminal open, we're gonna we're gonna to go to the directory where this is at. 
So if you want to list a directory in Mac, if you've never done this before, it's ls, and it'll list your directories. We dropped this in the desktop, so I'm going to change directory, cd, and then desktop, and then it was the contents folder inside of desktop. It, if you can't remember that or if you put it in a different folder, you can always list it again or ls. So change directory to content, ls is the Mac OS one. Okay, from here, if we want to check the attributes of this, we can go xattr, which is an attribute command, and then uh, the name of the, the file that you want to check the attributes for. So it'll be the Streamlabs one. So we'll put stream labs TikTok stream T generator. And as you can see, it did put the, the quarantine attribute on it. To get rid of that, we just go ahead and do attack C after the uh, or dash C after after the uh, X attribute, and it will remove that attribute. Hit enter. It'll look like it doesn't do anything, but if we run the attribute command again, you'll see that that, that attribute is not there anymore. As you can see, it's not there anymore. So we can go ahead and exit out of the terminal and go back into our contents folder, Mac OS and start up the software and you can, as you can see it works on mac now uh same process as we did before where you load the token and, and all that stuff and uh yeah there you go working on mac and windows how to get all that stuff uh again if you have any questions on this uh you can leave in the comment section below or you can go to the discord where where i'll answer the questions if i need to again i did get this uh from another video that I had watched that didn't really explain and a lot of the comments were saying, hey, how do I get this to work on Mac or what about this or what about that? There was really no answers that were given. Uh, so this was my response to that on some of uh, some of those answers and, and why this may be flagged as, as, as something else. All right, so there's the video. If this has helped you in any way, consider hitting that like uh, notification and the, the subscribe button. It does help the channel grow a little bit. We'll see you on the next one.